Hey, welcome to this book reader show as today we have picked one important book for you to brief you with the summary of how to win any argument how to argue with someone who won't listen effectively and with don't raising your voice lose your cool or come to the blows how to impact the people who don't want to listen to you who are annoyed to you and who are brilliant in argument how you can control those people through using the tricks so in this book summary of robert ware who has rise and wrote this book for the text is which he has mentioned that the it is the war of world the argument is the war of world and how you can in any argument with the people don't raise your voice lose your cool or come to blow so mention these seven tricks which i am going to telling you here in this book summary today and this started with the gain the absolute and total self control how you can do that because winning begin by controlling how you will be first of all it will be start with the self control what you have to say what not to say you have to first make the self control over then construct a consent zone how to build up a consent zone with a annoying person who believe in argument then this is essential because the people in the zone are less resistance and more receptive to you and your ideas then in the third step is link inside the consent zone then prepare a zone and then you have to construct you have to construct a zone then after you have to link inside the consent zone because people buy into trust first idea second is that lead inside the consent zone because you don't push you lead if you put in an argument you should not resist the other part or the counterpart you have to lead that argument to slow down with calm do not without losing your voice lose your cool and come to blows then create a blue a bulletproof argument how or why it is required because winning required sound right reasoning then the next story said that know what to say when to say it and but not to say because every argument has slippery slopes the author say in this book you have to understand that what you want to say and when it to say the time and then you have to decide in your mind but this thing you want to say is it okay to say or not because there is a slippery slopes in any argument it can be corn for a very troubleful or troublesome thing at that point of time in the next step the author said that assemble an arsenal of magic words and phrases to impress the other side and control cool him down because the way to win is the grab hold and convince the other part or the counterpart that is the secret trick for win any argument because you your way to win is the grab hold and convince the counterpart then you have to craft a surgical strike question because the other person answer will be your desired outcome what you want from the other part or the counterpart then you have to craft surgical strike questions in your mind and throw them to the counterpart then think consents because it's now time to slam dunk your win then throw a hall merry because it's a never over till it's over the argument is the deep sorrow and a deep 
पैन स्किन इट विल नेवर ओवर टिल इट्स ओवर एंड देन द फैंस इज कंसेंट फ्रॉम फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज लॉन्ग टर्म रिलेशनशिप डिजर्व स्पेशल केयर एंड हैंडलिंग दैट्स वाई यू हैव टू गिव अ स्पेशल केयर टू द काउंट पार्ट एंड हार्गिंग थिंग देन हाउ टू विन द वॉर of words in writing otherwise if you have could not complete it in the thoughts of communication one to one then you can went through the writing and win the war of words in writing because sometimes writing your argument is the only way and sometime it is the winning way then on the closest moment author said when the war of the word on the telephone the taxis has been mentioned here because it's becoming harder to travel across town winning argument with confidence grace and easy is the theme of this small pocketed book by robert mize how to win any argument without losing your cool or come to blow and even raising your voice for what you want to say and get from the person other side then you will learn about the art of argument the pro games of knowing what to say how to say and when to say it winning argument without raising your voice losing your cool or coming to the blows without bulldozing and brow beating pressing anyone including yourself to the winning argument with confident grace and ease says it is a methodology of meaning how you have to you can win the war of the world the seven ways to still center keep you from getting in your own way the author said that knowing others is wisdom knowing the self is enlightenment the way number first is you get in your own way when you are acting under the influence number second heads up you get into your way when you see the things the way you want them to be you have to heads up in argument you have to apply the way number third you get in your own way when you color the word with your expectation then your heads up will one step up when you use this step number the way number 4 you get in your own way when you conclude facts from your assumptions then it come to a quizzing of blowing your mind and your mind will goes and heads up again when you use the way number or step number five you get in your own way when you are convinced that you know what you know to heading up you raising up your head to high that is the way the step number six you get into your way when you are influenced by head turning tie ins what you have to do that how you can grasp that there is something you have to do credibility head turns then nostalgia head turns and the being cool and prestigious head turns is there then finally the way number 7 comes up with that you get in your way when you are too stubborn to let go of the peanut means when you are too stubborn let go of the peanut and take a lesson from a wise king because there's much is to be learned from a mango tree first step the author says that look and listen for tells if you have to tell something first you have to create the habit of looking into the eyes and listen for the other or the counterpart then second step, look and listen for hidden word messages means the word what is saying what is the meaning coming out from those word you have to look and listen those two then listen for the priorities what you have to do you have to get into the argument you you have to get out of it then you have to look or listen the priority at that particular time and the ultimately when you have to look or listen for the pro down clauses you can create a construct or 
create a consent zone with a counterpart and it is sometime related to the author said if you are age you can win that with your experience then it is a gender you can get that upon that and then there is the word of wisdom for the terminally professional you can get over that then you have to become the cool because no at all don't win argument if god hadn't made me so beautiful i do be a teacher in the offices and the profession where you can get the argument you have to apply these rules there is the rules of consent zone how can you become the alert because there are the common mistakes people make which you have to take care don't complain or suck don't look back avoid judging the other person's actions or thoughts then don't ask what is your problem why can't you be reasonable and then don't maneuver maneuver someone's into a corner by pointing out discrepancies providing them to be liar think inside the consent zone how you can do that because people buy into trust first and ideas second how you can do that the author suggests here to heading up that the many ways you are always both the messenger and the message because content is totally one and another side thank you from the johnny carlyle because he was a champion or champion you have to heads up your heads up while in a argument how you can do that you have to feel like the things right when you show the concern and there is the 75 and 25 partnering secret how you can win the argument the author described it in this small book he lets other discover his human condition because you will be surprised to learn his favorite flavor because things feel right when feelings are shared because things feel right when power is seemingly shared so unless things feel right who cares what you say credibility can be easily lost if you cause you don't push you don't push you lead then you have to lead the consent zone because if you can't get her interested you are going nowhere because people judge things by comparing so you have to take it that in the mind the author said add by the four ways to add credibility to your argument because it's not enough that you are credible what you say has to appear credible there are the four ways there is credibility to being precise the way number 1 the way number 2 author shared in this book there is a credibility who else say so there is the credibility eyes of the beholder there is the credibility if i can you can too there is the credibility of appearing to be in the know because stories are a powerful way to lead then you can wind up and heads up your in winning the arguments because he knows there is comfort in following the leads of other because everyone need to save face in any argument to sum up all these formula to become a winner in argument then create a blueprint of argument because winning required sounds right reasoning how to do that and why because argument must pass the business card test too then the favorite logic tricks by behind the building of the consent zone or blueprint the logic number 1 craft a core argument by redefining the issue you have to take it that in the mind the logic in trick number 2 craft a core argument by redefining elements to the issue the logic in trick number 3 craft a core argument by redefining the scope of the issue then trick number 4 craft a core argument by showing an if then correlations then the trick number 5 craft a core argument by expanding the realm of the possibility 
then you have to support your argument with the three portable points because too little or too much is too much you have to take care as how you can heads up during the argument with someone logic three biggest trap because you want your logic to be bulletproof how to do that otherwise that is the traps first of all it needs to be understand as author then the common knowledge is not evidently the channel is not powerful no what to say when to say and it and what not to say the author shared with you that how you can do that because every argument has slippery shoes you have to take care because they argue with so about scramble and are seller of magic words and phrases how you can use and imply those because the way to win is to grab hold and convince because you want to definite your argument then you have to use the upper power the craft analogies how to do that then impact with the intensifier tantalize with the unexpected and replace full numbers with the cravers out of five call upon the persuasion speak words and then go to the next tag that is the craft surgical strike of questions when you, put you are into an argument because other person answer will be your desired outcome what you want to get then and how you want to fool the other part that he cannot win the argument with you then chink consent because it's now time to slum drunk your win because you want to get an angry person into the cool town and you want to win the argument how to do that fleeting opportunity power whenever it comes you have to pick up it up having words hard to come by power and then the next secret shared by the author is the need to reciprocate power and fulfilling aspiration that is the power for you and the need to catch a wave that is also the power need to enhance self-image as a power and then needing recognition that is the power to win the argument non check things with a call for action because it's now time to clearly says what is it is you you want within the argument so don't hang to meet so high the dogs won't jump because the million dollar tip is that which the author share in this book is that because silence is compelling as a hundred dollar tips for winning the argument because he knows what i means my by attitude show your attitude that time through a hail mary how you can do that the author depicted that finance worth value and share differences because it's easy when you know how then the deadlock buster use the different different six deadlock buster to change to more friendly level of authority because sometimes it's the only way all of the tips which is mentioned in this book by robert mayer how to win any argument don't raise your voices lose your control or come to blows all the details are related to this book how you can buy this and how you can learn the basics of fundamental to win argument and control over the other people detail has been given in the link there and the buying option is there you can go there check there buy these books and read advance your knowledge and the brief summaries i have mentioned and shared with you here that will be helpful you if you find it helpful give a thumbs up to that and if you want to learn further with these summaries real from the books bring over there you can connect with us and become the regular part of the book reader show this is all in the story summaries and see you in the next summary next time